Boom. <laughs> yes, I don't care. He fired a couple shots and then caught on fire. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Armored Core Master of Arena. We just uh, went through, beat up some humanoid leg opponents, although mm, maybe beat up is a little uh, not exactly right since some of them took forever and we had to cut them down with a laser blade after we ran out of ammo. So uh, we're gonna go back to missions. So of course that requires swapping disc and um, you know what, first we're gonna do a little part swapping because this is not a great setup for missions. So I'll uh, take a moment and uh, be back with a slightly different setup. Okay, we'll take this for a spin for some mission work. All I did is swap the, uh, the handgun for the large white laser rifle and threw a small radar on and swapped to a medium missile launcher instead of the humongous missile launcher. So um, just a little bit of variety and you know it'd actually do okay in the arena too so we might not end up having to swap. Speaking of swap, let's go swap discs. So this will just take a sec. And checking disc. Okay here we go. So we're gonna take on destroy berserk MTs. I believe there's a hidden part in this mission. Uh, I think we already read the review for this, uh, the the intro to this. Uh, we're gonna destroy the uh, maintenance computer. Otherwise, it's gonna. I believe it continues to spawn these MTs. So I think we can just skip them. Um, so I think we have to destroy the computer, and then we can destroy all the MTs once it stops spawning them. And we look for a. St uh, there's Combat like a storage room somewhere damaged. that has. Um, I mean, I don't know, it might be worth taking out some of these guys. Can we hit them? Okay, we can. That's good. Okay. Not too hard. It's kind of a nice looking little parking garage, actually. Oh, any sweet cars in here? Ooh, nice. Yeah. And just checking the map to see if there's any... Okay. Just taking a look. Is that not really a door? Seems like a good way to go. Well, one piece of good news, they only take one shot to destroy. Now, how do we get out of here? There's a way up. Ah, leave me alone! I believe it's a factory that will, that produces more of them. Yeah, I think it's pumping them out. Oh, okay. That's one way to do it. Okay, well at least we are protected. Hey look. Uh, so often these things like to explode. Yeah. Gate lock unlocked. Good. Little robots are all killing each other, I think. What? I thought I just unlocked it. Is there another lock? Maybe on the other side. Hmm, yeah, okay. Okay, hopefully that's all we need. It's funny, they are killing each other. There we go. Yeah, I think that's worth 
buying us a little bit of time. Doesn't seem to be a factory in here. for a warehouse with some boxes in it. Said it's on the way to the computer. This doesn't look like that. This just looks like a room with some MTs in it. Okay. Zippity doo da. Oh. Um. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, do you know where the warehouse is? Oh, seriously? Why, from software? Why do you give me a dead end? Why do you do this? Let's go across the hall. Well, they don't seem to do a ton of damage, is one nice thing. Aha, this looks like a warehouse. I think it's just sitting on the floor. I think it's actually possible to blow it up on accident. There it is. AC head part acquired. Ooh, I like that voice. AC head part. Mm. Can't wait to try it out. Cool. All right, now we just need to find the computer and then zippity zap bam bam boom and boom boom. And then uh, something tells me that it is going to be down this big corridor. I haven't felt the need to use any missiles yet. This laser rifle it does such a fabulous job. Look at that, just... Cool. Oh, come on, seriously? <laughs> it's just a warehouse? Or this is just a empty storeroom? Ah, it really was that dumb little passage, wasn't it? Is that really where you're hiding your computer? Sweep! Go away, you pest. Uh, you're, the exterminator's here. Hey, Martha, the exterminator's here to get rid of all those MTs. There it is. Yeah, it had a small blast radius around it. Should be pretty easy. Part of me is kind of hoping for some kind of a surprise in the mission. This game has not been short on surprises. Nine balls showing up to... Oh, darn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, that might destroy the head part if you just do that. I feel like that happened to me way back, way back in the day when I first played this. Okay, so we've just got some MTs in here. They're probably killing themselves. Uh, 
That's Battle it. Over. Okay. Combat system disengaged. Hey, we even made okay money. Not that we're short on cash. All right, um, let's do another. I don't feel I need it. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at the head. Maybe it was cool. All right, we purchased like everything. Uh, it's not that one. Oh, it's this one. Ooh, this one looks cool. HD helm. Is it uh, high definition? Must be. It's got a radar, detailed computer, area and place names. Eh, not bad. We don't have a noise canceller or a biosensor, but that basically means we would not be able to lock on to, um, like, insects if we see them. I don't use it. It's kind of cool looking. Mix it up a little bit. Let's move on to the next mission. Retrieve secret files from Lana Nielsen. Requester is Izumo Materials. Re reward 33k. Izumo Materials Research Group was just attacked and top secret files stolen. The attacker escaped through the city's underground passage and is still at large. Security forces have been deployed, but our assistance has also been requested. Find and destroy the armored car that the thief has commandeered. The armored car is highly visible. And the thief can't run forever. He must have planned an alternate means of escape. Your target is the armored car. Ignore all other enemies you may encounter. Act quickly. Okay, so we're going to destroy the armored car. I guess we got to really book it. Ignore other enemies? Well, maybe if they happen to end up in our FCS, we'll... Main system, engaging combat. We'll mode. let the uh, laser rifle fly a little loose here. Oh, gate does not move. Just get him out of the way. A little moonlight doesn't, doesn't hurt to, uh... Well, I'll, I'll follow their recommendation of ignoring. For the most part. Follow the water going down this way? No. Oh, great. Mines. <laughs> it's kind of a weird mission so far. Requesting an elevator to come down? Is that what this is? The airport should be just ahead. Destroy him before he escapes. Any AC detected and verified as Lucky Hopper. A member of Ooh, we got it. <laughs> it was right there. Of operation cleared. System there's an AC still running mind. around trying to defend him. What if we get a bonus for destroying the AC? Maybe we'll try uh, if we. After we finish the game, maybe we'll go back and redo that mission. Sometimes you get bonus stuff if you, you know, you go above and beyond. Got new mail. The thrill of email. Behold. Sponsor. Center from London Nielsen. The corporation has extended an offer to sponsor you in the arena. The sponsor is Prog Tech, one of the companies operating the arena. There's one condition, though. You must defeat all ravens currently associated with the arena. The company wants to see what you're capable of. I've done some research, and it doesn't matter who you fight. But remember, they're all ravens, just like you. That is all. Okay. Well, does that mean we're not supposed to do a mission yet until we go fight in the arena? Or... That's kind of weird. It's, what, what does it say? Reward nil. Uh, okay. 
Well, I mean, I feel like trying the arena out. It just seemed odd that they all have zero. I was wondering if maybe while we're sponsored and we they want us to fight. Oh, wait a minute, but now it says... You may, na may not enter this arena now. Okay, well now I'm just a little bit confused. Okay. Yeah, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I don't know. Must defeat all, all ravens currently associated with the arena. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, wait a second. Oh, check it out. Hustler 1 is in the arena again. Okay, alright. Well... Enough fiddling around. I guess we'll just take on a mission. Cavern Invasion centers Lana Nielsen request her. We get zero credits. Rumor has it that a group of enemies have infiltrated the cavern in the southeast sector of the city. According to our information, the cavern is being used by a company to store important materials. We think the enemy forces that entered the cavern are after these materials. The target is a Raven AC hired as an escort. Ignore all other enemies. Seek out and destroy the AC, then escape. Okay, so there are MTs, but we're supposed to take on AC. It looks like it's wielding a nuke. Could be an interesting attack terrorist. From Nalana Nielsen, no credits. I've sent out a mission request to all ravens in the Nest Network. The request I sent out was for the removal of MTs attacking the construction site east of the city. The real objective is for you to crush any ACs that take the bait. Goldie from the sub arena has already accepted the mission. MTs are easy targets for raisins, so she probably won't be ready for you. Take her when she least expects it. Oh, okay, so this is like what our sponsor wants to do, I guess? Um, sub arena AC Goldie. Okay, or attack Chrome HQ. Your target is a raven recently hired by Chrome, Isaac City's largest corporation. The raven is Hercules, a member of the sub arena. That's interesting. I thought Chrome had collapsed. He has signed a long-term contract with Chrome as a guard at their corporate HQ. Chrome already has a complex security system in place. The Raven has been hired to put any additional to put additional pressure on anyone attempting to breach their HQ. I can take care of the security system, but not the Raven. We have three minutes tops. Must destroy him within that time frame. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna take on Goldie. Go back to Isaac City. Construction site, safety level 89. And they see, there aren't supposed to be any others around. Either way, we still have a job to do. Hmm, I have to fight two ACs. Main system, engaging combat mode. That's fine, I can, I can hack ACs. that. I guess, guess they were as a pair. An unforeseen complication, but we'll have to deal with it. ACs. Why is it running so poorly? Both are capable of high speeds. Take care of one first before targeting the other. Oh, you mean like that? Oh, what a piece of cake! Operation cleared. System switched to normal mode. All right, we have a detailed computer now, so we get that's why we get the fancier, uh, fancier talk. So we just paid for damages there, but I, I think was this what the sponsor wanted? I'm trying to figure it out. You have mail, oh boy. Okay, yeah, Frog Tech. Frog Tech's company has grown significantly during the re during the recent years. This is largely due to their groundbreaking achievements in AC-related development. A brilliant scientist who serves as the company's head of development is behind a number of their revolutionary parts. The part you received is probably one of these. The arena is nothing more than a convenient place for prog tech to advertise. So take care and don't let them take advantage of you. Should your rating increase due to success in both the missions and the sub arena, you may be called up to the actual arena. That is all. 
Okay, Senator Proctek, good day. I'm Representative from Proctek, and I have uh, the privilege of observing your performance. We've taken over your abilities and have decided to sponsor your entry into the arena. Please accept as a small gift, 50,000 credits, and an see part we have developed. We look forward to your success on the arena. Okay, so this is a uh, laser blade. Maybe we'll try it out. It shoots an energy wave instead of the usual cutting blade. And let's try it. Why not? All right, step into the arena. Maybe we'll try this out a little bit. So this is the, there we go. See, this is the main arena. This is the sub arena. And it said it doesn't matter who we fight. Let's just start at the bottom. Stunt Rider. Pilot Stunt Rider AC Funky Flyer. A physicist who says he survives by calculating missile trajectories and avoiding them. Well, guess what? I've got missiles. Do you think he will avoid them? I feel like putting him to the test. See, missiles. Oh, hit him. And let's see. Oh, that one missed. He is a funky flyer, indeed. See, there's the, uh, this laser blade shoots a wave. It's a little bit like human plus. Well, we're hitting with a few of those missiles. He is difficult to hit when he's flying around and when he's busy stunning us. How's that uh, missile avoiding going? Oh man, <laughs> come on, one more hit. Music. It was jamming. I believe that kids say that it slaps. Pulse cannon and handgun. He does not have human plus though. So he's he was literally just man, all that hang time he got. Trying out those missile hits, trying to I'm not sure I really am wild about that laser blade. Looks cool, but doesn't seem to have the auto tracking that the regular blade does. And maybe it's just this opponent because he's so bouncy that, uh, mm, yep, there's a, I'm totally failing to avoid those missiles. Yep. So when he was, when he, as soon as he stopped bouncing around, that was when it, when it was really hurting. Connecting with the laser. I was trying to get a little greedy. I wanted to hit him with laser blade at the end. And of course, that's when he's st stunning. I'm stunning. <laughs> and I just had enough. I just had enough. Oh, we got a. Oh, that's actually a handgun. Uh. Kind of cool, uh, but you know what? We're gonna maybe when we go back to the arena, we'll try out that handgun instead of the uh, shotgun-looking one. Um, Pilot advantage, AC Shield Nine. Considered the best at mid-range battles, he does not allow his opponents to get too close. Let's try the red cowboy western-themed versus arena. Oh, that's right. We actually, it's very much a versus, it's like, it's a showdown. You start back to back. Oh my gosh, this is a tiny, <laughs> this arena is tiny, kind of, kind of funky. Oh, it does little explosions when it hits. Come on.
Am I just hurting myself with that? Okay, we gotta get serious now. This is a... Uh... Let's try a little quick maneuver. Ooh, we got a good connection there. <laughs> yes, I don't care. <laughs> Totally blowing myself up, but it was worth it. Oh, was it worth it? So that's uh, this arena is a little unbalanced, isn't it? But I do kind of like that you start facing back to back. Very cowboy. I mean, what weapons was he using? He had multi missile, his slug gun, and then the machine gun. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Those huge explosions. Those are huge explosions. I don't know, maybe it's really not a bad weapon. You can connect with it. It was doing a good thousand damage to him, so. And with that splash damage, kind of not too bad. Maybe it's also because he was a tank, made him a little easier to hit. Boom! Not bad. Laser blade! We're both gonna go down in flames! I don't care! <laughs> it worked. We did it. You know what? I'm gonna keep this laser blade for a minute. That was some goofy fun. We've seen plenty of moonlight. I can always go back if, uh, if I really want it. Okay, another ten thousand. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's another missile launcher. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna equip that. Oops, wrong one. Checking disc. Just says incorrect disc. Take you back to the menu. So I believe this is a special missile launcher that shoots small missiles that are like. Uh, I think they're like extra high accuracy. Where does it place them? To the right of all the other missiles? Here it is. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Um, it does something weird though where they're like really high accuracy. I think they travel really slow. We'll just have to... Uh, we'll, we'll try them out when we go back to the arena. Let's do one more. Rank Nada, Pilot Noble in this star mine, the son of a high-ranking corporate exec. His weaponry is much more impressive than his skill. He's got the finger, he's got... Uh, he does have a pretty fancy loadout. Let's go underwater. He's got the finger, he's got the tri-rail laser cannon, he's got the huge radar. Which, by the way, he's not going to need it here. Okay, is he gonna? How long is he gonna last? <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> wow, I think that's my fastest arena battle yet. He fired a couple shots and then. And then he just caught on fire. <laughs> and then, you know, just rub it in with that laser blade hit. Of course. We are earning a lot of parts for these, though. That's kind of rad. Are we gonna, are we gonna get another part? 10,000, another part, wow. That is a uh, dual laser rifle. And Pilot Locagos. 
AC, the toll keeper. His AC touts a blue scheme and his attacks are so aggressive, he nicknamed himself Thunder. Except for, it doesn't say Thunder anywhere on his AC or otherwise. Um, let's go, let's go to the Marine Base. It's blue. It's got those heavy plasma cannon arms that have in the past taken huge chunks off of our life. Start with some missile locks. Okay, where did he go? He's gonna Oh, is that him over there? No, that's a that's a radar. There you are. Where are you going? Is this gonna be another quick one? Ah! I'm just spamming. Did he just run away at the beginning? Whoa, I'm just gonna run away. Interesting, he's brought double ammo boxes. Now they did nerf the ammo boxes in this one so that instead of adding 50% ammo, they only add 20% ammo. Okay, well he's got a pretty effective bounce pattern there. <laughs> Missile salvo, not a bad little connection there. That is landing the hits. He must have drained himself of energy again. He had a few connections there with that heavy plasma. But this light this laser rifle just wipe him out. So even though we were doing missions, this is kind of kind of this kind of I mean it's on the mission disc. It's kind of story related. The EX Arena is like kind of not associated with the story. Okay, so we did not get a part for that one. That's okay, we just earned a whole bunch of new parts. So, we're gonna take a break. Thanks for coming along, I hope you've enjoyed watching me run around, blow stuff up, and um, I'll see you in the next time around.